Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. It is going to be my first update in my No Single Shadow Left Behind series. I started this last month around this time and I was inspired to do this because I have been doing the No Pan Left Behind series on my channel where in order to, where I randomly generate four eyeshadow palettes at a time to work on and I can't roll that palette out until I've used every single shadow in that palette at least one time. Well, I got to thinking about how my single shadow collection really has a tendency to go untouched sometimes and I thought it would be fun to kind of do a no single shadow left behind. So as opposed to the palette version of this, in order to roll a single shadow out, I need to use that single shadow three times instead of just the one. Just because with single shadows, I really, most of the shadows, well, all of them are shadows that I very specifically decided to have in my collection, whether that be I went on to like an indie brand and, you know, seek to shadow out looking like the one in my collection or if it was like a deep potted shade from a palette that i very specifically wanted to keep so i do have two shadows today that i actually am going to be decluttering and rolling out i do feel like this is also a good way for me to cycle through my single shadows and decide what really should stay and what i don't need to keep uh, so i'll be rolling in two shadows to replace the two that i am decluttering but I also thought a fun little twist would be if I haven't completed a single shadow, I have I think six separate Z palettes that I started this project out by randomly rolling in two shadows from each Z palette. If I have not completed a palette from a Z, sorry, if I, if I have not completed a shadow from the Z palette, I'm gonna roll in another one just for like some funness to it. And to just, I mean, I have space in my Z palette to add more shades, uh, so. That's what we're gonna do we're gonna be you know talking all about single shadows today and rolling some new ones in so if that sounds interesting to you stay tuned first if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project painting content or just chit chatting about makeup i'd love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on and other than that let's jump into the video all right you guys so this is what my z palette was looking like these are all the shades that have been randomly generated and i will pop a picture on the screen or some footage on the screen of the swatched color store i also have it on my arms right now so i feel like i'm gonna get this everywhere i'm actually gonna just wipe it off my arms since i already have the footage okay we're just gonna go in order that these shades are in here and actually the first two shades are the two shades that i'm going to be rolling out and decluttering so up first i have this shadow right here i will show a swatch of it it's this really beautiful kind of peachy gold shade very metallic and really beautiful especially on the inner corner of the eye but i am not reaching for like i have this shade a million times over in my palettes this is not the type of single shadow that i'm going to be reaching for so i feel ready to declutter this i believe i depotted this from an old pure palette many years ago and i'm just kind of ready to say goodbye to that one and then the second shade i believe is also a depotted shade from an old pure palette this has a pan in it i believe i hit pan on this using it as an inner corner highlight very beautiful very metallic pink shade but again i kind of have this shade a million times over in other palettes and it's just not the type of single shadow i'm currently reaching for i think the only reason i hit pan on this was because it was in a project not because i was like "Ooh, i want to use that every day so i'm ready to declutter this shade as well then we have this Terra Moon Cosmetics shade right here. This is in the shade Half Moon. This really beautiful blue, like aqua blue, flaky sort of shade. It's really stunning, really intense on the eyes. I did not reach for this. Sorry, I should have said you guys. I reached for this three total times and this two total times, um, <clears throat> but decluttering both of those. This one from Terra Moon, I did not reach for at all. So this will remain in the project. I still have three more uses to go on that. It is a really beautiful shade. And I think it could make a really fun, make be incorporated into creating a really fun summer look. Next up, we have another Terra Moon cosmetic shade. I did reach for this shade one time. This is in the shade Powdered Sugar. And you guys, this is Terra Moon has really, really beautiful shades. This is kind of like a icy blue white 
green sort of shade it's very very pretty i use this in a i think i use this on an inner corner or on the, my inner corner when i created one of my green looks for saint patrick's day it's really beautiful on the inner corner because it is so icy but i also want to use this all over the lid so i still have two more uses left to go with that one and then next i have this i think is also i don't know is this this might be a menagerie i'm not sure where i grabbed this one from it is in the shade moonflower yes it is menagerie cosmetics um this is such a stunning shade it has this almost like clear base but then has this really beautiful green aqua sort of shift to it it is so such a stunning shade i use this two times so i only have one use left to go on this this is something that like i think i may roll into once i finally complete my rolling project 10 pan single shadow and hit pan on that i might roll this in next just because i absolutely love this shade and want to make sure i'm continuing to get use on it such a beautiful one from menagerie and then i have the shade sea of ghosts which is from shroud cosmetics which is something else now but i can't remember what it's called this is a really fun kind of like denim blue sort of metallic shade i didn't reach for this one at all and i do feel like i'm gonna struggle to reach for this one just because it's not like my comfort sort of shade uh, but still have three uses to go there and from ColourPop, i have this depotted shade which i thought was from the kathleen lights dream street palette but i think this is actually from the sub it's not subculture is it subliminal like one of those palettes it had like 16 shades i remember this is the only time i feel like ColourPop has been successful in making a blue brown eyeshadow shade um but i did not reach for this one at all unfortunately so this still has zero uses from ColourPop, as does my other ColourPop shade which is this shade right here this already has a pan in it this i believe i depotted from like one of the frozen palettes that they did this is a really beautiful like pinky shifty sort of shade i really do enjoy this shade i just honestly wasn't that great at reaching for <laughs> my single shadows this past month then i have this depotted shade from the dominique cosmetics i can see the palette wild wanderlust palette i believe i can it's like blue and white i can see the palette um i didn't reach for this one at all either i feel like this one may end up being decluttered like i feel like maybe i just don't need this shade but as of right now still have three more uses to go with that one this one i'm really disappointed that i didn't reach for at all this is the shade this is peachy keen from jd glow this is a really beautiful shade i think i'll get a ton of use out of this this summer more than just my three uses like i feel like i'll use this three times and then put it in my other like smaller z palette that has a couple of shades going in project pans and try and get more use out of this because this has a really beautiful like pinky peachy shift to green and i love anything that shifts to green so i didn't reach for this one at all still three uses to go there but i don't think I'll, i think i will have three uses on that by the next update next i have the shade high class from clarity cosmetics i did reach for this one time i thought i had reached for this too but maybe just one i have not i was gonna say have not been reaching for purples but the last few days i've actually done quite a few purple looks because i'm trying to finish my um rose quartz palette from huda beauty um and i have like a purpley sort of look today but i still have two uses left to go on this this is a really beautiful very metallic purple shade not something that i feel like i can just like pop on the eyes with a neutral eye look with a neutral eye look and go as i can some of these other like more special shades this is just very intense and very metallic so i feel like and my look is going to be very specific when using this shade but i'm still very happy to have that in my collection and i have two uses left to go on that and then i'm so bummed i thought i had three uses on this but i only have two uses on this shade right here this is in the shade eel will from clarity cosmetics a really beautiful a really beautiful green shade this one is a little bit flakier a little bit more chunky but it is very very impactful on the eyes i had fun reaching for this in march i do still have one more use on this this is another one that i'm like i feel i could see myself coming back to even though it's not like even after my three uses i just think it's a very very fun green shade and i'm very excited to continue to keep working on that that being said i have grabbed all six of 
my single shadow Z palettes again because the two that I'm decluttering both came out of this palette right here. So we will randomly roll two more palettes in from this palette and then we'll randomly roll one more shade from each of my other five palettes. And I think I said two more palettes, I meant two more shades from this palette. So let's just start with this palette. We will be rolling in two shades from this one. I am, there's currently 15 shades in this palette. I am gonna skip this one right here just cause it's kind of like a lid setting shade and I have another lid setting shade that I'm currently working on, but we're gonna randomly generate two more shadows from this palette to work on and I'll just go across. So two numbers between one and 15. And we get number four and number five. So number four is, ooh, this sparkly one, which I don't think I intended for this one to even end up in this palette. So we have number four right here and then number five, which I think is another shade out of that pure palette. I'll be curious to see if I end up keeping that one. But number four is a shade, another shade from Terra Moon. This is in the shade Snow Globe. And this is another kind of like chunkier, but sheared out very like ethereal shade. That is so pretty. That just looks so wet on the skin. Um, kind of has like a green and white sort of sparkle to it to give it that very wet look. Um, so I'm excited about that. I feel like this could be like a beautiful, like one shadow or maybe like with like a bronzer in the crease and then this all over the lid could be very beautiful. So that is the first shade. And then the second shade is this gold shade right here, which I feel like, so there it is swatched right there. I'm like, do I even, you guys, I just, I'm going to declutter this one as well. I, I'm going to declutter that. I don't even feel like I need to like try and use it. I just know I've got that shade a million times over. I don't need to keep that. So I'm going to randomly generate another number and we get number 11. <clears throat> okay, so five was right here, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Ooh, this is an Aether Beauty shade. All right, this is, I don't, it doesn't have a name on the back. I wanna say I got this like free in some sort of Sephora thing. There it is swatched right there. It's this very metallic, but very like smooth, kind of like pink, pinky rose gold sort of shade. It is really, really, really pretty. Again, very metallic, very wet. Um, I'm very excited to reach for that. I feel like this could pair nicely with um, my, not sultry, yeah, my sultry palette, which is my pan that palette for the year. So that is it for this palette right here. And actually now that I'm looking in here, I'm like, do I? Yeah, maybe I'll keep that, okay. Okay, next up we have my ColourPop Z palette. This has all ColourPop either single shades or shades that I have depotted. And I have 25 shades in here. Currently, if I get the black, I'm gonna reroll. Aside from that, I'll work on anything. So we get number 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Do I wanna do this? Sure. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, we get a matte shade right here. Okay, I don't know that I'm so excited about this, but you know, if I left the matte around, like I may as well use it or end up decluttering it. There is the matte swatched right there. I wanna say this likely came out of Kathleen Light's Dream Street palette. Either that or the, I cannot remember the name of the other one, but those, or that will be my addition from the ColourPop palette. Next up, we have this one this is my like blue blue with like a mix of pink palette um and it's just kind of like a mix bag of where these shadows came from so i have two four there's 20 shades in here and we get number 20 which oh no which would be the last shade which is this right here which is from my Alamar Cosmetics palette, um, I forget the name of it. It was the first, like it was the yellow packaging. Really beautiful shade. I just do not reach for blue that much, but I feel like that actually could make a really fun liner. Okay, we're gonna have fun with this one, I feel like. So that is my shade out of my blue palette. Moving on to what I think is my purple palette. Yep, I don't have a ton in here. Purple with like a random red. There are only 12 shades in here. And we get number five. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, okay. This one is from 
um, Adept. And I have a decent dip going in this one already. Ooh, that is not what I was expecting that to be when I swatched it. This is ACD8. And there it is swatched right there. It's like a blue kind of green sort of shift. Again, I feel like this could pair really nicely with my Sultry palette from ABH. So moving on to my green palette, one of my faves. This is what this palette is looking like. And there are 14 shades in here. I'm gonna be so annoyed if I get 14 and get that matte brown. I shouldn't have spoken that into existence. Three, okay. One, two, three, okay. What is this? This is the shade Spring Fling. So what a good time to reach for this from Give Me Glow. And this, ooh, is a very metallic green shade greeny blue again kind of more cool tone feel like it could go really well with my sultry palette maybe because i was thinking about giving sultry a rest in may maybe this is my sign of like here girl here's some things to like keep playing around with your sultry palette but like make it more fun okay and then i have my <laughs> yellow z palette which is just kind of like a mixed bag of shades i have seven eight nine ten eleven twelve shades in here Please don't be 12. Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what is this? Another blue. I feel like my color story is very blue heavy. This is the shade Heavenly from, this is from ColourPop. Oh, I should put this back in ColourPop when I'm done. I don't remember purchasing. Oh, I was gonna say, I don't remember purchasing the shade. I wonder if this is from the, no, because I feel like it would have been a smaller size. I don't remember when I purchased this, but there it is swatched right there. It is a very like icy mid-toned blue. I don't know how excited I am about this one. We'll see. I mean, maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'll decide to declare it, but all right. Now we have, now we have 17 shades to work on. <laughs> Again, kind of very like bluey purple, very cool toned which I don't know that I love, but we're gonna go with it. Hopefully I can roll out, well, hopefully I'll be able to roll out these two shades as well as this shade up here, which I, hopefully I'll be able to roll out like four or five shades next update. So we'll see where we're at. That is gonna wrap it up for today's update for my No Single Shadow Left Behind. Leave me your comments. Where are your favorite places? to purchase single shadows or do you have any like favorite single shadows in your collection what are they where did you get them let a girl know in the comments below other than that thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next video bye